What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a super quick mod tip for the day. Uh, just a real quick video on another little $5 mod we can do. It's not pretty, but it works. And then another easy way to get a little more steering. A lot of people out there doing this one, but maybe there's some people that don't know about it yet. So we will get to that in a minute. The $5 mod for the steering, basically you can see, kind of looks like junk. <laughs> but all I did was cut some of this tubing, this brass tubing here. This is the number on it. So all I did was tuck a piece of this, slightly bend it like a stock steering link here. You have to get the bend or you will lose steering angle. So you have to have a little bend in it. And then I cut it to length, slid it down the middle spread it just a little bit with a flat screwdriver, popped it over this steering link, and then I just kind of clamped it back down around it. And you can see it works great, and we don't get that flex near as easy. We still got a little bit. And, you know, we got the McHugh links. We can run those, and we don't have to deal with that. But if you... <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. So for, like, I think this whole rod's like five four or five bucks maybe so you can do probably three or four trucks off of this and if you don't like the brass color you can get this brass black and this stuff will basically turn your brass black basically what it's called brass black so you usually have to kind of let it sit in there a while but i was just going to show you real quick you can see it will start turning it fairly quick and then maybe do a few coats you have to let that set dry and then it'll be black now it, it rubs off fairly easy you can probably see on this truck over here that i've kind of wore mine off i didn't put any extra paint clear coat anything like that on there so maybe we could have made it stay a little better but I honestly didn't care what it looked like on this truck. I kind of like the rough look, so that's why I left it like it is. Um, I really wouldn't even mind leaving it brass, honestly. So that's uh, maybe you'll want to do that, maybe you won't. Like it don't look good, but it's uh, super simple, cheap, easy, uh, and not super easy. I guess you got to slit that rod. So, but anyways, it works. Now to get just a little bit more steering. You may be able to see here, this screw in this C-hub knuckle here on the front. You can see it better right there. This one here, if you notice, if you take your own truck, you may be able to see it on here. When you turn just like that, this steering link hits it just a little bit. So you can see this side. It's out of there. It's free. We're not going to hit it. I mean, it's a hair. It's honestly probably not even noticeable. But in my mind, you get a little bit more there, so we're going for it. You know, that's one thing with this FCX24 with the CVDs. You get a pretty dang good turning angle. And I haven't had a single CVD issue out of these things yet. So that's why I'm loving these portals. But you can just take that screw out of the front, move it to the back. So you can see that one's already in there. Put that in the back, it serves the same purpose, just holds that on the axle and it gets it out of the way of the steering. So super simple, free mod right here. You guys know we like the cheap, cheap, so there you go. You can see I haven't even did anything to this steering link yet. I have some McHugh links. Uh, those are on eBay. I will, um, well, here they are right here. So we're going to put these on at some point. I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to get them on. Been doing other things. But these right here will not flex. These are much stronger. So check eBay. Just punch in FCX24 and you'll see his stuff come up has the extended links and 
the steering links. So that's definitely the easiest way to go and they're not expensive. So uh, that's probably the best way to go right there. But this also works if you happen to have this tube laying around or you have a hobby shop around or a hobby lobby, you can get it super cheap. You can use it for a lot of other things. And that worked as well. So two different options there, but just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick little tip for the day. I appreciate it, everybody. Um, I will link in the description. FMS told me as far as the portal gears go that they were trying to send out everybody the correct ones. But if there was somebody who didn't have the correct ones, they could contact them through a certain email. So I will put that in the description. So check the description of the video for that email, because if they don't send you the correct gears, they will. You just have to send them some pictures and I think proof of purchase or whatever. But uh, check the description for that. And then I'll link all my favorite stuff in there as well. Anything purchased through those links just helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. Peace.